You have three minutes to, to present yourself to members of parliament and solicit for their votes. Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Musa Hazansungu, Honorable Kasim Majaliwa, Majaliwa, Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament of the United Republic of Tanzania, good morning. May I take this opportunity first to send my sincere condolences to this national parliament for the loss of our remarkable leader, Dr. Shogo Mlozi. It was a pain to every one of us. May her soul rest in peace. I'm coming forward this morning in our national parliament to thank my party, Chama Chama Pinduzi, for trusting that I can represent them in the East African Legislative Assembly. I thank all the honorable members of parliament from Chama Chama Pinduzi who voted for me by trusting and believing that I can represent this National Assembly in the East African Legislative Assembly. I believe I'm the right candidate for that position because I have all that it takes to be a representative of my party, a representative of this National Assembly and my government. My sincere appreciation goes to my President of the United Republic of Tanzania for the trust she has in me. I have a wide and extensive experience as far as governance, leadership and management is concerned. I've been engaged also in national development programs, which includes the Agricultural Sector Development Program too. And also currently, I'm a technical member in drafting the Vision 2050. So I understand very well my country priorities and interests, and I think I have all that it takes to defend and protect my country in the East African community, to make sure that the interests of the Tanzanians, they're actually well positioned. I'm a researcher with wide experience in analysis, so I have all the skills to use data to inform all the decisions in the East African uh, Legislative Assembly. And at the same time, I've been engaged in several uh, development activities which are addressing the needs of the uh, marginalized groups. So inclusiveness is one of my principles. Uh, this morning, I come to you with a humble request that you vote so that I can take that position to represent my country. You should just be confident that you'll never be disappointed. I'm a person of integrity transparency and accountability. At the same time, I've also been uh, supporting uh, regional uh, collaborations. I have a quite experience in engaging with our partners from Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, through joint collaborative researches. So in terms of cultural dynamics, I believe I have all the skills that it takes to navigate in that particular assembly. Saying that, this morning, I come to you to request for that vote so that I can join the Tanzanian team, which is doing very well in, our East, East, uh, in the East African Legislative Assembly under the leadership of Honorable Angela Kiziga. So I believe I'll go and complement their efforts so that we push the integration agenda forward and make sure that we transform East Africa. Integration is all that it takes to, uh, to bring out transformation. Being an expert in logistics and supply chain management, I believe where we are moving, logistics, integrated logistics is what is going to be a rapid transformation in our country, but at the same time at the regional level. Saying that, 
I would like to request that Thank you very much. Thank you very you much. You vote for Your me. Thank over. you. Thank you very much. Um, you'll be asked three questions uh, from, the, from the floor. And now I call uh, Mushima Tuaha Alim Pembenwe. Honorable Deputy Speaker, thank you ever so much for giving me this particular opportunity. But before I start asking my question, will you please allow me a couple of few words, a couple of few minutes to say a word here? Uh, Honorable Deputy Speaker, First of all, let me take this particular opportunity to thank my party leaders under the chairmanship of our dining president, Dr. Samia Sluhassan, and our general secretary, Honorable Dr. Fats. They are doing very well within our parties. Honorable Deputy Speaker, it goes without saying that the selection process in this particular event was conducted in a very diligent way, in such a way that each and every single individual was given an opportunity. Honorable Deputy Speaker, let me ask you a question. My question is, which role are you going to play in fostering the cooperation between the member states? Answer, please. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for that uh, interesting question. Basically, as a member of the Legislative Assembly, I have the role of advocating for cooperation and ensure that we have harmonized regulatory environment, harmonized policies, which brings the connectivity between the parties. But I also look forward to strengthen the economical integration through the different strengths that we have as, part, as partners in the EAC. So ideally, what I expect is that uh, we make sure that we solve our problems, that I also become a facilitator or a mediator wherever there are conflicts, to make sure that we solve our problems and we have a common north as far as, as the East African uh, community is concerned. So coming together is what is the key as I look forward to this uh, kind of cooperation. So connectivity and integration is, is what is going to Thank bring us forward. Much. Thank you Thank you. Honorable Salome Makamba. Thank you very much, Honorable Deputy Speaker, for granting me this opportunity to ask the candidate a question. The regional economic integration have been facing many challenges, and uh, more pressing uh, ports and custom qualities trade and uh, investment challenges, uh, differences uh, in uh, development gaps between uh, member states, and last one is different in uh, policy and governance between member states. You being a new member, what are your plans to improve the situation? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I think the first thing that I have to do is to, uh, to learn and understand uh, what has been going on. That would be the first thing, but uh, as far as customs are concerned, I think we have to look forward into having uh, uh, a, a standardized, standardized customs procedures so that we can be able to facilitate the trade across uh, the East African community. So that is one, but also it's very important that our customs, they should be integrated. They should be connected. So uh, I would recommend or advocate for automation yeah, and interconnectivity between the customs that we have. But at the same time, I look forward into advocating for amendments or improvements in the cross-border uh, procedures so that we have simplified procedures and we remove all the bottlenecks. Uh, reforms are very important. Reforms are very important. That is, we have harmonized regulatory environment that is actually supporting the business environment that we are going to operate. And as far as bridging the development gaps, I think it's very important that we look forward for inclusive policies. 
That is, how now can we leverage from the potentials that each partner has despite their challenges and despite their differences? So I will advocate for inclusive policies and ensure that all marginal, marginalized groups, they are being brought on board and being given a priority in the policies and in the agreements. At the same time, in the development projects, Thank you to very make sure much. that... upon Honorable Abdullah Mwinyi. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Deputy Speaker. Um, I'd like to address uh, our candidate with a, a question in relation to the process of the integration process. Can the candidate explain uh, the concept of variable geometry and how it applies to the East African community integration process. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. Uh, basically, when we talk about ge uh, variable geometric, is that this is a kind of uh, an inclusive concept that you are trying to make sure that you consider the differences that we have as partner states, but you don't leave, you leave no one behind. So what is actually there is that you address the differences. Uh, this, it means that even if we have, for example, to uh, integrate on uh, uh, customs, for example, then if one party or one partner is not ready, we allow them to remain backward while others they move. That is basically what is there. But also it's about the speed, that given that we differ in terms of the economic development and uh, uh, the comparative advantages, we can have an integration uh, aspect, for example, uh, as far as, for example, uh, uh, having the single currency. But some of the partner states might not be ready. So we don't want to delay others who are ready to go, and then uh, we all wait. So the actual thing about variable geometry is that you allow, you have the flexibility to allow the different uh, uh, countries to come together at the different paces. So that is basically, that is there. And it's a principle to make sure that we don't leave one behind and we don't delay the performance. Thank you. Asanteni, I thank you very much. Uh, Madam, you are now excused. Thank you very much. Excuse me. You, yes, you did uh, solicit for the votes before. Thank you. Washimi wabunge sasa tunanza zoezi la kupigia kura. Katibu. Watu wa isabiwe. Mongozo, Mongozo, Mongozo speaker. Mongozo speaker. Mongozo.